Microsoft's transition was like? What were the biggest challenges for Microsoft as this law went into effect? Yeah, it was, a, you know, like for all corporations, right, it was a fun time. Um, <laughs> we, um, we took a stance that we were going to be GDPR compliant in May around the globe, so not just in the UU. We said it's a good standard, it's a good baseline for privacy. We know that there are other privacy laws that are coming along behind GDPR, and we felt it was a really good baseline. But we also felt because of our ethos around privacy, that it was something that we should set an example, that we should be fully compliant, we should be private, and that EU standard was a really good standard. So as we went through the process of understanding where our data was, classifying the data, making sure that if I asked to be forgotten at Microsoft, no matter where I was around the world, that we had the skills and the tooling to automatically forget me. That Because that, I will tell you, in talking to customers globally has been their biggest concern, is we don't even know where necessarily your accounts are. We can't identify them. And we don't have automated tooling to remove you from every system. So it was something that we took a laborious effort around within uh, Brad Smith's organization to make sure that we had the right tooling in place so that we could be fully compliant in May. And we were fully compliant in May. There was also a tremendous amount, again, of employee education and user education that went on around that time. And so we're sitting here in Washington, and there's a lot of discussion right now on the Hill about privacy and whether we should have a federal law in the U.S. addressing privacy. And so I'm, I'm curious, looking at GDPR after your transition, w what are some things that lawmakers should look to in GDPR as they shape legislation here addressing privacy? I think the fundamental thing is that a user's information, whether it's a corporate or a personal entity, is your information. You should be the owner of your information, and you should be able to determine what happens to your information. It's our stance, by the way, at Microsoft with our uh, corporate customers, with our consumers, that your information is your information. And we need to, we have an obligation, regardless of legislation, to keep that um, information private. And I think if you take that as a baseline, then whatever regulation you, that you build from the baseline of a corporation or an individual's information is their information and they are the ones that have a right to that information, whatever legislation you frame around that will be the right with the right intent. Interesting. And so